so hi guys welcome back to my channel cure warrior once again and here we only discuss the interview questions that is asked in the testing interviews and if you are new to this channel so it's very important to subscribe also press the bell icon to get notification about this channel and today we are going to see another important topic so let's begin and today's topic is software testing life cycle and the abbreviated form of S uh, software testing life cycle is stlc and it is executed in very systematic and planned manner and in the stlc process different activities are carried out in order to improve the quality of the product or the software okay in stlc a sequence of different activities is performed one after the another during the software testing process once the stlc process starts it generally starts as soon as the requ requirements are received or the requirements are defined by the stakeholders or the business okay and also it is a step by step process to ensure the quality of a software okay so now in this diagram it shows the stlc different phases of the stlc model so it start from the requirement analysis test planning test case development environment setup test execution and test cycle closure so we will see all the different phases in very details one after the another okay so let's start with the requirement analysis now here i have noted down uh, whatever it was written in the diagram so i have mentioned it here requirement analysis test planning test case development test environment setup test execution and test cycle closure now i will uh, stop here and let you know that what the interview question arises so the interviewer he will only ask you to define the different phases of the stlc model same happens with the sdlc model as well so he will ask you to define the phases of the sd stlc model okay and also it may happen that he or she may ask you to elaborate the phases one or particular phases of the stlc or sdlc so that's the reason it is very important to understand each each phase of the stlc or sdlc in details okay so now let's begin before we start with the requirement analysis phase it is very important to understand what is the entry and exit criteria okay so entry criteria means the prerequisite items that must be completed before the testing can begin okay and exit criteria means that the items it should be completed before the testing can be completed okay so this is the difference between the entry and exit criteria okay now let's see the requirement analysis okay so this is the first phase in which the team studies the requirement from testing point of view to derive out the scenarios okay in this phase only the testing team can interact with the various stakeholders stakeholder in the sense client business analyst ba lead to understand the requirement in details okay unless and until you have the knowledge about the requirement you may not be able to derive the scenario and the test cases out of it okay now requirement can be either functional or non functional when i tell functional so functional means what the software is required to do and non functional means performance security load stress these kind of testing is called as non functional so what happens in this phase is that the tester identified type of test to be performed he or she may gather details about the testing priorities okay means what kind of testing to be performed first what should be the scenario that should be tested first and following other test cases okay in this phase only we create the prepare the rtm that is requirement traceability matrix so what 
is the requirement traceability matrix requirement traceability matrix means that all the requirement has the particular test cases assigned to it the main purpose behind the rtm is to ensure that none of the scenario for a particular requirement is mixed missed during the testing okay so all these kind of a um, matrix is prepared in the requirement analysis phase okay now we also identify the test environment details where testing is supposed to be carried out okay what environment do we mean by this okay so environment in the sense there are different environments where the code is deployed one can be the dev environment where the development team they produces the code they deploy the code they do the unit testing and then deploy the same code into the qa environment that is the testing environment and qa or the tester owns the qa environment another comes the uat environment where it is also called as pre prod okay so where once the qa testing is complete the code is deployed into the uat environment in order to take the sign off from the client once they think that yes the software is tested thoroughly and it is as per the requirement then after their sign off the code is deployed to the production environment means go live okay and in the requirement analysis phase only the automation feasibility is also done automation feasibility in the sense that whether this testing can be automated or not okay so we will see all these things in details in another video okay now test planning what happens in this uh, phase is that your test lead will determine the effort and the cost for the project okay and would also prepare and finalize the test plan okay what happens in this test plan okay it is a formal document where the test lead mention the tools that will be selected for the testing the testing effort resources how many resources resources in the sense means how many people will be required to perform this testing and in which environment this testing will be done what kind of os or the operating system will be used okay and training requirement training requirement in the sense like what kind of knowledge transfer is required for the particular application to the resources in order to conduct that particular testing okay so in this phase preparation of test plan or strategy document is carried out okay third phase is the test case development so what happens in this as the name suggests test case development means creation of the test case happens in this phase okay also verification and rework of test cases what do i mean with the rework of test cases so for example if you have written some test cases in the earlier release but for this release you just need to update some steps okay so in that case instead of writing a new test case what you will do you will just copy paste the same test case and you will just update the steps okay also test data is identified or created and reviewed or reworked okay so in some of the testing like for example if i give you an example of a login page so where the scenarios that can be derived out is like incorrect username correct password correct username incorrect password so all those kind of test data so that kind of data is called as test data okay is created and reviewed okay okay now create test cases automation script review and baseline test cases and script and also create test data all these activities are performed under this phase okay now test environment setup what happens in this test environment setup is that it is also a important phase of the stlc because i as discussed earlier that environment in the sense like 
QA, Dev, UAT, and Prod. Okay. So basically, the test environment decides the condition on which the software will be tested. Okay. And this phase doesn't involve doesn't require the involvement of the testing team. It is either the development team, developer, or the customer creates the testing environment. Okay. Now the test execution phase. It is the second last phase of the STLC process. So in this phase, what happens is that the tester will carry out the testing based on the test plan and the test cases prepared. Okay. It may happen that during the execution, bugs may be identified. So that bugs has to be reported to the development team and should be retested should be retested and the test cases should be executed as per the plan okay also execution in the sense that you will also uh, document all the test result okay and log log the defects for the failed cases okay also what may happen is that you can map the defect to the test cases in rtm so this uh, step is very important map defect to the test case means that once you have raised the defect in the HPLM or QC it is very important to link the same test case to the test cases and also to the requirement in order to uh, when you generate the RTM so that it will reflect whether the test cases uh, the defect was identified for that particular test case and it was uh, fixed and retested okay now retest the defect fixes so once the defect is fixed it is retested in this phase only that is test execution okay track the defect to closer means once you have retested this defect so and it is working fine so you can close in the same phase okay now the last phase is the test cycle closer so what happens in this test cycle closer is that we generally check for the completion of the test whether all the test cases are executed or not and also we make sure that there is no high severity or high priority defects is still open okay and the main thing that we do is as i have mentioned here that for example in this phase qa team may have learned some new uh, things like during the testing they may have got to know some new things from the business analyst or from the client during the testing so all those kinds of lessons learned should be documented in a document known as kcd called knowledge capture document okay it also uh, includes that what went well during the execution what is the scope of the improvement and what can be improved so all these kinds of process uh, is documented inside the kcd okay so now as uh, as a summary kind of thing let's uh, revise it once again so the stlc process it starts from the requirement analysis uh, goes down to the test planning comes down to the test case development environment setup test execution and test cycle closer so in the interview you may be asked to uh, jot down or uh, tell them uh, the different phases of the stlc you might be asked to explain any of the phases of the stlc so as you have uh, read in this video or you have understood in this video so you may not find any difficulty while answering any question for the different phases okay so guys that's all in this video and we'll see most interesting and important topics in the upcoming videos and please subscribe to my channel and like the videos and also comment down on the video if you have any queries so thank you for watching